Um, well, it's halftime and... Um... Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to add up the polls. And actually, it kind of looks like people are pro-life right now. That's how people we've interviewed. So... Well, um, so here's the numbers right now and we'll go get some more opinions. And then we'll get the second half. Yeah. All right. Nice hair. <laughs> I'll show uh, you guys. What do I do? Oh, I interview her. What is this for? It's for Mr. Mr. Bunch. Right? Are you going to see this? <laughs> in MTV. No, yeah, in MTV, people. they'll it's, see it's it. Cool. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Come on. Okay, okay. Is it on? Yeah. Okay, um, five seconds. There's no right or wrong answer, right? No, no. Where's that? Okay, um, short choice. Hi, um, this is Stephanie. Stephanie, what do you think of um, abortion? Oh. Okay. <laughs> what I think about abortion is it's, it's like a personal choice. So some people might want to, some people might need it, and some people don't agree with it. Like I would not personally have an abortion, but if other people do, it's like not my right to judge you. Want it? Like it's a personal choice. That's what I All right. Thanks. Thank you. Nice hearing you. Stop. Go go ask it. Hey, Groovy. You guys want to help us? I will. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Um, Cindy Pena right yes. here, and um, what do you think of abortion? Um, I think it's wrong, but I think the woman has the choice to do what she wants with her body. So I'm pro-choice, but I think there should be limits to it. Like, a woman can't go out and have seven abortions in a matter of eight, ten years. You know, I think there should be limits to it. But it's a good choice. Alright, thanks, Cindy. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Gosh. <laughs> Hi, this is you. Uh, Hello, Nino. We would like to know what you think about abortion. What I think about abortion, based yeah. on this is like last year, based on Mr. Uh, uh, Bunch's test. Uh, I was thinking about this when Carrie approached me yesterday in regards to what to say about this, and so here's what my answer is, and that is that a lot of people are confused about abortion, and when they talk about it, they quote the Declaration of Independence, which says that everyone has the life, right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And they don't quote the Constitution on it. Uh, but if we were just to quote the Declaration of Independence alone, then my question is, I don't know that I have an answer, as to come back with a question, and that is, if we have the right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, then does that not by itself give a woman the right to pursue her life in the way that she sees fit. And if that means getting an abortion, then then that would be her living life to her fullest extent that she would want to. Now, does the Constitution give protection to a fetus? And I think that that's a different question that our founding fathers probably never really anticipated, if you know what I mean, if yeah. you've studied that Constitution at all. and. There, I don't know if a fetus has the equal protection of the law, because then the question is, what is a fetus? Is a fetus a human being? But the simple question is, does the woman have the right to an abortion, apart from the consideration of, of, the, uh, of the fetus in terms of, does the fetus have equal protection of the law? Then I think a lot of people quote, misquote the Declaration of Independence as if it were the Constitution, and always quote that you have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But if we do that, and stick with that, then the, the issue is, is a woman who chooses to have an abortion not in fact seeking uh, her, her uh, right to, to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in the way that she sees fit? And, and if that's the case, then uh, I would be in agreement with it. The other one is that I find it very difficult that a lot of men are out in the uh, anti-abortion movement when men do not reproduce. And if men reproduced, I wonder how many of them would be on the other side of the fence. But a lot of your people that are on the, the anti-abortion movement, uh, overwhelmingly there are a lot of men, a lot of m male clergy or religious people, ministers involved in the movement. And let's face it, men don't have babies and so it's very easy for a man to say that a woman has to have a child when a man himself is not placed in that position. So I think that about covers it for me. Okay, thanks Mr. E. Yeah. Hi, um, it's me Nino again and uh, this is Grace. And uh, what do you think about abortion? I am for it. You're for it, why? Because I think people should have the right to um, not have babies if they don't want to. Okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> All right. oh, you, hi, um, there's a meal, and um, what do you think about abortion? Uh, I think it's uh, the woman's choice. Whatever she does, it's her choice. Unless one opposition I have is that if it's going to be retarded, 
if she wants to, you know, have an abortion, she, it's her choice. Whatever it is, it's her choice. Okay, there's a meal and um, thanks. There's a meal and thanks. Yes. Hi, um, there's um, Roya and Robin and um, Andrew. We'd like to know how you guys feel oh, about abortion. Yeah, huh? And your Kit Kat. Okay. Hold on. Him? Okay. I don't know who he is. I'm for it. It's your choice. It's your baby. Isn't it? If anything happens to it, it's, it's your fault. It's nobody's fault. It's your choice. You can do whatever you want. Nothing's gonna happen to anybody else. Nobody's gonna lose anything except yourself. It's how you feel inside and what you do. And let's say you get in certain cases, maybe not, but if, if you get raped, why would you want to have a baby? The baby's gonna remind yeah. you of the person. So. That's pretty much how I feel. I mean, I don't think it's. Like, it's your choice. You can do whatever yeah, exactly. you want to. I don't think it's really killing Nobody, ha I know. Nobody has the right to tell you what to do. Yeah. Choice? It's a woman's choice. Okay, thanks guys. <laughs> okay, um, hi, this is um, Jennifer and Jeannie, and um, what do you guys think about abortion? And why? I think that um, anybody who has an abortion really sucks because they took that responsibility to have and take the chances, and it's taken away a life no matter, you know. Um, I know fetus or what and I just don't think it's right and I don't think it's right even if you get raped you know if you get raped put it up for adoption you know if you, if you don't want to take responsibility <laughs> then don't jump in the sock. I think abortion is wrong because you're killing a child and but I think it's okay if you got raped because I know that could be really hard having a child not even yours and um, I just think it's wrong, but I think you're, um, you should have your opinions, but you should know that before.